I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Uh. Oh, uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah. I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. But it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. So? I don't know, Lucas. If there's one thing our adventures taught me, it's better to just be truthful. Let history speak for itself. I guess I can pull back on some of the, uh, the exaggerations. Yeah, like the part with the magic chicken? Talk about implausible. Uh, that actually happened. Oh, right. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh... Next year. I can't believe it's founding day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. And you did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah. We were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right, oh, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Ooh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. I was really hoping to start in on these revisions. Wow, I had no idea you guys had gotten so lame. <laughs> Come on, we're not lame. I mean, you're a little lame. Axel! But, seriously, you have your life and so do we. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> Ugh, so freaking cute. So the other towns have Founding Day celebrations, huh?
Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. See you, Jesse. Won't be the same without you guys. Ah, buddy. You're gonna make me sad. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, I just wish I could have hung out with my friends more. We're all so busy now. That is hard. But at least they come back to visit a bunch? That's pretty awesome. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. I bet one of those would look awesome on the Order Hall's front lawn. Mmm, huh. You craving seafood? Always. Why? Jesse, dude! No! I thought you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Yeah, dude, it is awesome! Letting everybody be themselves, super individualistic, house over there that looks like a squid, righteous. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which... I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Ah, a blank canvas. That is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, 
Jesse, dude, thanks! It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo, and don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah. Kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Oh, Wink! Get back here! Leave Jesse alone! Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. Could you call off your dog, please? It's kind of freaking me out. Oh, right. Sorry. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse. Give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Huh, yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. It is really you! My friend told me this was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the Wither Storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days, but I still have so many questions. Huh, <sighs> all right. I love talking about the good old days. Yes! I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? It's, um, it's a zombie. Oh, I thought maybe there'd be more to it than that, but, um, guess not. The build I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. The world coming apart at the seams? Tentacles everywhere? Yeah, we were all really scared. For a while there, it looked like the Wither Storm might win. Well, speaking on behalf of the world, I am really glad you were there to stop it. Oh, you are just the best! Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. Not a problem. I'll see you around, all right? Best pig that ever lived. <sighs> Miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. Yeah. He was my best friend. Still miss him. Aww. Oh, my gosh, it's you! Oh, yeah. It's me. What are you doing here? Oh, wow. This is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah. Talk about knowledgeable casting. It would be an honor to say that the pig was hand-chosen by Jesse for the part. I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic! Thank you so much. All right. Let's see him. Okay, piggies. Show Jesse your good side. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben-esque. Hmm? They're all adorable. Raised all of them myself. My vote is for Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. No question. Look at that regal little guy. Really? Ah, 
I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic! Congratulations! <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Bye! Sugar. Nice. Jesse! Well, hey, hey! Look who it is! Jesse! Hey! Hey, guys. What are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day that I guarantee you is going to be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Oh. Want to give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? Yep. It's really cool. 100% totally, mostly safe, we think. That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do, Bob, but don't worry. Jesse's gonna help us settle this. Nothing prettier than pink wool. Let's get to it. Nice. That turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime! It'll be great! Go, Jesse! Woohoo! Ha ha! Woo! <laughs> Ta da! Thanks, everyone! Jesse, that was incredible! Seriously, amazing dive! Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work! What you looking at, citizen? Oh, Jesse! Wow! Hi! And just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Is it the appropriate aesthetic addition to the tableau that is Beacon Town? Doesn't fit? I think it's perfect. Oh! Wow! Maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah, I love it. This just gives me even more to think about. Uh, okay then. We'll just leave you to it. <clears throat> Is he okay? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, ma'am? Thank you. I am telling you, Stampy, it needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just... not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Oh, and pumpkin pie is the universally loved food. I think not. Ooh, I do love me some pumpkin pie. Ha! See, Stampy? Told you. Oh, yes, yes, fine. You really showed me. Cake is still better. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Hmm don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that.
He said cake, she said pie. I said, why don't we have both? Oh, well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? Found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, that's fantastic, Jessie. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. Look, I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye! What a lovely garden. And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh no, thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Helping them prepare for Founding Day. Very inspiring. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Spitting in fate's eye. You better. Don't disappoint me, Radar. I... I hadn't even thought about that being a possibility till just this moment. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Petra? Huh. I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? <sighs> Stupid zombie. <sighs> I missed this. <coughs> Smell? Not so much. Well, you're late, but at least you still remember how to fight. Oh, hey. Hey, I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. Whoa, whoa. I am not rusty. <laughs> oh yeah? Says the scrub wearing iron armor. I didn't want to dent the good stuff. So what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... <laughs> time to find out just how rusty you aren't. <laughs> <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. Lost my step yet. Well, you sure showed me. Glad you finally made it. Sometimes I worry you don't even have time for me. your friends anymore. I mean, I get that you like your job and everything, but jeez. Hey, come on. Being Beacon Town's leader is fun. Of course, a nerd like you would find that fun. This is fun. Us together, fighting stuff. Although. Can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Axel has Boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured. Man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, 
It's not exactly slaying a Witherstorm, you know? You're right. It is lame. It just isn't the same without them. See? I knew you'd get it. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait! What? It's monster hunting time! Hey, it's Jesse! What's up? Good to see ya. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. I'm starving. Hey, I was gonna eat that! Obviously. Get down! It's gonna blow! Ah. <sighs> Woo! All right, where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Ah, look down there! So, you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun. Come on! than I remember. <laughs> you were so supposed to lose. Everybody knows I'm faster than you. <sighs> you were awesome back there, Petra. Felt just like old times. Well, not exactly like old times, since I always used to win. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. Llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <coughs> it's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? 
It's apparently like a uh, treasure sniffing llama, or uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be like a thing. Really? How could a llama be important?